Hey guys, John Sharps here from the gun bench talking today about Badlands. This is our integrated muzzle brake and blast deflector. I was trying to think of how I was going to show you guys the interior of it. I think in, at first I was going to use this X300, but uh, I can't really do it justice. So I had to sacrifice one. I put one on the metal cutting bandsaw and I cut it right down the middle. This gives you a really good look at what we got going on inside. So again, it's an integrated muzzle brake and blast deflector. The entire thing is 3D printed out of 17-4 stainless. And then it goes through a heat treating process, H900. And then it goes through a nitriding process called QPQ. That's a hard coating. So the combination of the material, the heat treat, and the hard coating make it very, very strong. What do we got going on inside? Well, first and foremost, it's a muzzle brake. We're trying to reduce recoil and reduce muzzle rise. We do that with these uh, holes that go all the way around the brake. The holes are angled and they're coned, which is something we couldn't do with traditional machining methods. Then outside the muzzle brake, we've got a blast deflector. Now, the blast deflector's primary job is to send the blast concussion where it belongs downrange. Not your neighbors, not your hearing, any of that. We're sending the concussion downrange. In this case, because we're 3D printing Badlands, we're able to get unique with uh, what that blast deflector looks like or what its features are. So most blast deflectors are just a tube that someone has threaded so that it'll fit on their muzzle brake or someone else's muzzle brake. In this case, it's integrated into the one piece, but then on the interior of the blast deflector, we've got all this ribbing. The ribbing does a great job at disrupting gas, uh, which happens to reduce uh, flash signature pretty significantly. So we're not marketing this as a flash reduction device, but because it's a muzzle brake with a blast deflector, but it really does have significant flash reduction potential as well. Um, we've put this thing through pretty serious violence of action testing. Um, the last one was a 14 and a half inch Colt shooting full auto. Um, you can scroll back in our feed if you want to see that video, but um, it does a very, very good job at being a blast deflector and being a muzzle brake. And it's going to come in just two models. They're differentiated only by thread. This one's 1 half 28. The other one is 5 8 24. Each model is suitable for calibers 223 all the way up through 354. So 223, 300 Blackout, 350 Legend, 65 Grendel, 65 Creedmoor. I probably said 308 already. Uh, 338 Federal, uh, 86 Creedmoor. This thing is going to be able to handle them all. You only need to choose which direct thread thread type you want. One half 28 or 58 24. Um, we've tried this on 223. We've tried it on 65 Creedmoor. We've we've really put this thing through the paces, and it's going to be ready to sell in the next uh, few weeks. So we'll start selling it in January. It's in production now. We're going to have a batch of them going to the heat treat and QPQ process here soon. Uh, and then they're going to be going out the door. So Badlands. First of its kind, so far as I know, integrated muzzle brake and blast deflector. I've got this one on a 9mm build. Again, it goes through 354 caliber, which is 9mm. And I really think you guys are going to dig them. They do a good job at reducing muzzle rise, helping you stay on the trigger faster. They are sending the concussion 100% downrange. If you're laying prone, that does a good job of uh, reducing your dust signature. And it has some flash reduction properties as well. So I'm positive you're going to dig it. Coming soon from Sharps Bros.